Hi everyone, it's good to have you back to the Big B and Little T channel. Today, just because of a number of conversations I've had with people over the past several months, I want to talk to you just a little bit about our experience with homeschooling. Now, we did not um, participate in homeschooling out of default because of the pandemic. Obviously, there's a lot of parents who had to deal with that over the past year. We decided to homeschool our kids well, it's been over 20 years ago. And at that time, when we began to homeschool, it was not very common. And most people who were homeschooling were doing it for religious reasons. And we certainly did not do it for that reason, although we respected people's opinion and you know people's reasons for doing that. Now, I wanna, I'm only gonna talk for about five minutes. I'm not gonna be able to tell you the whole history of of how we homeschooled or those kinds of things, but I thought it'd be interesting just to tell you a little bit more about the why. Um, Tina and I are were trained as educators. We were both teachers. I was a special ed teacher for about 10 years, and Tina taught second grade for um, four years, and her family, her side of the family, um, had a, a long history of educators in the public schools, at the university, so it was pretty ingrained in us, you know, that public school was the route and other routes probably were not going to be as acceptable. So when we decided to homeschool our three children, um, the first thing I would say is this, we did not do it because we were anti-school or anti-public education, uh, quite the opposite. In fact, when we decided to pull Zach out of the public schools um, in when he was in I think we did, yeah, we did it in the middle of his first grade. Uh, I was still teaching in the public schools in that school district, and um, it, that was a difficult decision for us because we didn't want to come across and be perceived as anti-educators because we weren't. So just to give you some quick history, Zach, our oldest, uh, who went to kindergarten, and he went to half of first grade before we decided to pull him out. Not because he was having a bad experience, not because we were anti-education. I'm gonna to get to the why here in just a moment. Kylie um, attended preschool, but never went to public school. She did uh, go back to public school in 10th grade, and may talk about that in this video, or may just talk about it in another video. I don't want this to be like 30, 40 minutes long. And then our youngest, Bree, um, never even went to preschool and didn't go to public school until she was in eighth grade. So to get kind of to the core of what I want to talk about today is kind of the why, the why of um, our decision to homeschool our children. Again, not anti-education, not anti-public school at all. We were teachers, we respect teachers, we respect what the public schools um, are capable of doing and do a, a really, for the most part, do a really great job. So the reason that we decided to homeschool our kids was to keep our family, I guess for lack of a better word, more more cohesive. We began to feel that the, the, the culture and the things that our children were participating in kind of started to fragment our family life. So we would, you know, barely have the kids home and we would have to, you know, they might participate in an activity such as Taekwondo or a music lesson. And then we would, you know, come home, get dinner made, get showers and baths and all those kinds of things. And then it'd be back to bed and start the routine all over again tomorrow. And after doing that for several weeks or several months, we began to just feel kind of fragmented and we felt like we were kind of going down this path that the culture were, was pulling us in a certain direction. And I read this awesome book. I think, I know her name is Mary Pfeiffer, P-I-P-H-E-R, and I believe the book is called The Shelter of Each Other. It's a great book. I haven't read it probably in 25 years, and so I don't know how relevant it is today, but I do know at the time it was very relevant. And the most important thing that she said in that book that really had an influence on our decision was that we needed to take control of the culture and not allow the culture to take control of our family. And what that meant to us was we wanted to be able to control um, and then put control all the great things that the culture has, not just go by default and say, well, this is what everybody does, but to be able to step back and say, what is in our culture that is great? Um, and let's just take TV as an example. TV 
you know, we are like a lot of families back when our kids were young, we just had the TV on. I'm not even sure we watched it and you know, but it kind of pulls you in and it just, it kind of just happens. You kind of just go down this path. And what we began to see is, you know, TV's great. There are a lot of great TV shows, whether, you know, when the kids were young, whether it was educational, PBS, whatever it may be. But instead of just going by default and just saying, well, we're just gonna turn the TV on, we began to pick and choose shows and opportunities that were right instead of having the TV on all the time. And that's just, that's just one example. Um, hopefully, um, in the future, I'll talk about other kinds of examples where we were able to strategically take control of the culture and the things that the culture had to offer our family and our children. And instead of the culture, instead of us just kind of going down this, this stream and we couldn't get out of that stream and the culture was just taking control of us. So basically the why was to keep our family cohesive and together and to, and to be more uh, proactive in picking and choosing what was available in the culture and strategically placing our children in those environments and in those great things as opposed to just you know, default to allowing the culture to take control of them and our family. So a lot more to talk about. I might do it in the next vlog, I might do it just in a later vlog, but I know homeschooling is a big issue and we've been asked a lot of times, you know, how do we do it? But again, not completely relevant in today's world, but we, we were successful in that we have three adult children, all great children, all got college degrees, um, bachelors and two of them have master's degrees and all of them are, are wonderful entrepreneurs and productive citizens in our society. So I hope we can help and offer you know, great advice to people that are considering that option or in the midst of that option right now. Hey, comment if you like, like, uh, subscribe to our channel. We just love to hear from you. You guys go out, make it a great day. Bye-bye.